Hey guys, how's it going? This is Michael. This is Kyle. And this is our trailer reaction review to The House with a Clock in Its Walls Trailer 2. You told me that right beforehand, and I still had to go back to, to see. Because I was I was always thinking like the house with clock with a with clock wall. With a clock wall. Like yeah. there's a million different variations. It's the house with a clock in its walls. Trailer too, so not on its walls. It's in its walls. Right. We've we've gotten to a point in movie history where we, I think everything has been named everything. So now we have to go down to really specific things <laughs> of what the movie is actually about. <laughs> the house with the clock in its walls. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, we've been a little away for a while. Uh, we appreciate you guys sticking around and uh, and continuing to watch us. We've been messing around with a new setup. Um, so, you know, I can start these names, you know, just with the push of a button. We're uh, cutting down on a post-production by doing a bunch of pre-production. And we can actually, if you guys want to, we can show you a how-to video on how to actually do all this stuff going. But we're going to get a couple camera angles, different camera angles here pretty soon too. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, more professional. Yeah, more professional, less post-production. Hopefully we can uh, get a Patreon or something going so that I don't have to be the Switchboard Studio can person. Can I press a button too? Uh, yeah, you can press. Okay, that's what, yeah, those are name buttons. Those are names. That's so cool. <laughs> super cool. Um, and then there's a, a Facebook. You guys can find us on Facebook too. Um, anyway, so we'll stop playing around with buttons. Um, but it's a super cool app. Uh, let me know if you guys want me to do a tutorial video on how to do this kind of stuff if you're interested in that. But in any case, let's uh, get going to a uh, video called A House With... I always get it wrong. A house... A house... With... With... A clock... A clock... In its walls. In its walls. Okay. Um, in case you guys didn't catch that, we were... Uh, Trying to be a little sneaky right there by by putting a little time because Kyle's uh, iPad turned off, so All which right. means we couldn't stream it. But now it's back up and live, and we're good to go. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get this iPad strolling here. All right. and, uh, this is the trailer two. The house with the clock in its walls, trailer two. Okay. Last stop, Lewis. I'm your Uncle Jonathan. Jack Black. Are you wearing a robe? It's a kimono. Here we are. Home sweet home. He's a You're wizard. Lewis, I presume. How was your trip? This old hag is my neighbor. I'm relieved to see you didn't inherit your uncle's freakishly oversized head. My God, did that withered purple skeleton just speak? You'll see, it's quite different here. Have a look around. You're perfectly safe. That's safe? As long as it's fed. Do you know what a warlock is, Lewis? A boy witch. I think they're a little more than boy witches. Are you saying that you're a warlock? A cheater. Please teach me, please, please, please. Okay, have it your way. I can give you the right books, teach you the right spells, but that last 1%, that's up to you. I don't want the creepy little runt. Think I want him? <laughs> Lucky shot. <laughs> You've told Lewis everything? Well, not everything. Oh, yeah, where's the clock? Do you hear them thinking? 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 This house used to be owned by another warlock. He's very wicked. Very powerful. Did he go there? He left a was that? clock in the walls. Yeah. We don't know what it does except something horrible. Three gongs. Last time it was four. What happens when it gets down to one? Nothing good, that's for certain. Yes. We have to destroy the clock. So creepy. Into this alone. I can help you. You want to see some real magic? I'll show you. Shall we? God, I hate pumpkins. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know what that kind of reminds me of? Uh, like goosebumps? That's like, hey, I literally had that same exact really? reaction. I'm like, this looked, this looks and feels exactly like goosebumps to me. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, well, the goosebumps that he did, not the yeah, old, that's what I mean. Because yeah. the goosebumps was the, the old one. That was actually scary, kind of. 
Um, but that the one that he did was kind of kiddish and childish, and I feel like this kind of has the same type of feeling to it. It feels like it's like a based on a book or something. I feel like right? it is. Yeah, it kind of seems like it. it Especially with the like title, it makes it feel like it's yeah. based on a book. I, I don't. I don't know what it's based on. So what does the clock in the walls do? It, like what it ticks down to? Yeah. Nothing good, I'm sure. Yeah, well, probably not. Well, except for, are you sure that it does nothing good? Because you can't really t- be too sure. I mean, that's true. In those types of scary movies, quote unquote, kid scary movies. Yeah. Yeah. Like it like releases Santa or something and he gives it, you presents. Well, that's that's Santa's captured, is that what you're saying? Yeah, it's kinda of dark still. Oh, it's yeah. really dark. So yeah. then the clock is good. You don't know. In this world there could be no Christmas. You don't know. You haven't seen anything. Is there like a a uh, twist where like one of those people, Jack Black or the other girl, is gonna be like the evil one? Yeah, maybe. Dude, and the bad guy looked a lot like Stephen Colbert. Yeah, it did. Right? Yeah. I mean, it could be him. I don't know. Yeah. Don't but know. it looked a lot like him. Yeah. It looked really funny. Like, it, lo- it kind of looked like how creepy were those, like, alien dummies, though? Yeah. I think that's what gave me the most, like, Goosebumps vibe. Yeah. Like, it felt like the Night of the, like, the Living Dummy. Yeah, definitely. And um, what was his name in the in Goosebumps? R.L. Stein's? No. Oh, the, the, the actual actually dummy's name. I actually didn't. It's, oh, uh, the... Oh, that's a good question. I'm not sure. I know his name. Sl- Slappy? Sure. I'm pretty sure it's Slappy. I slappy? think it's Slappy. Yeah, it you sounds might... like it could be right. But yeah, no, I definitely, it looked, it looks kind of fun. It looked kind of kiddish. Um, it was a weird Goosebumps mixed with Harry Potter vibe. Yeah. And mixed with almost like Doctor Strange vibe. Like honestly, like with the, with the Warlock stuff, like him looking into spell books yeah. and like, stuff coming out. I also, I, I really do like that. And I think like one of the underrated movies that I actually really liked was The Sorcerer's Apprentice. With uh, yeah. Jay Bruchel, whatever his name is, yeah. and Nicholas Cage. That came Cage. out a while ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and I always thought that, that it was really cool that you could learn spells via words or text yeah. or, like, whatever. Yeah. And so really anyone could use them or if you had, like, the, ma- like the you know, the magical blood or whatever. Yeah. Um, you could use them. And, like, I always thought that was really cool. So, like, anyone who, like, becomes really powerful, I think, like, the stories be- be- between, like, from coming from nowhere to becoming like a really powerful like wizard or warlock, like kind of like the way Harry Potter series went. Although Harry never really became like a super powerful wizard or anything. Yeah, he only killed Voldemort. But yeah, no, he didn't really do anything. Yeah, but Voldemort like made him kill him because he was a Horcrux. So yeah, that's true. I mean, Harry was never. He was really like born with a bunch of great power because he had the Horcrux in him. Spoiler alert. But wow. No, I'm sorry. This is a related video, too. I mean, if you're watching this obscure channel and you haven't seen Harry Potter yet, I don't know what you're doing with your <laughs> you life. You probably have seen Harry Potter if you if don't know what you're doing this channel. Life. Not to mention you don't know what a Horcrux is if you haven't seen Harry Potter. Oh, that's true. But, I mean, the, like this this had, like, a really cool, like, a kid's vibe to it, you know? Yeah. Um, it looked fun. It looked like it was an adventure. It looked fun. It had some, you know, warlock stuff in it, which I'm always a fan of. My, I'm always a fan of magic. Yeah. I, I love... I have to say, the visuals were really impressive in it. Yeah. I yeah. think ex- maybe except for the pumpkin part. But, uh, yeah. but like, the spells and the, like, the, the stars yeah, the, and the, the galaxy. The galaxy is coming up. That was super cool. That was really cool. Um, the, uh, the, the, the dummies coming out. That was just the scariest part. That was... Uh, I'm just like I'm curious what the tone of the movie's supposed to be like. Is it going to be like a kids comedy? It, it, it kind of seems scary? like everyone, with the exception of Jack Black, was taking it seriously, and it kind of seemed like Jack Black was really the only character that was turning it into a fun thing. He did his patented "All right," you know yeah. that that, yeah. that voice. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I felt I felt like he was taking it seriously. I just I, I like I, I it feels a lot like Goosebumps to me. Yeah. Like that's what I feel like the tone is gonna be. Yeah. Really like a kids movie. Like a I mean Goosebumps having the, like the nostalgic play. Now I don't know if this is based off a book or anything. If it if it is or like if it, like a, a TV show or something where yeah, little, that would make a little bit more it'll, sense. It'll have a nostalgic yeah. appeal, but. Yeah. I mean, as far as I I mean, I never read this book in high school or elementary school or anything. No. Unlike A Wrinkle in Time, which. That movie was disappointing for how much I liked that book. Yeah. The movie was really disappointing. Well, that's a, that's a video for another day. Um, but, yeah, anyway, guys, uh, thank you guys so much for uh, watching. Really appreciate it. Um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit the subscribe button down below. We're so close to 1,000. We uh, Super close. Just hit subscribe. You don't have to watch us ever again. Just hit subscribe. That way we can hit that 1,000 milestone, which would be super cool. Um, yeah, thanks a lot for watching. We'll have a lot more stuff coming out in the future. We're going to start getting some uh, cool uh, video production stuff going, too. We'll have multiple camera angles uh, when it happens. And um, and I just went away, So, but I'm pretty sure my mic is still working. So as you can see, obviously, we are 
Uh, we're still in the middle of trying to figure this thing yeah, out. We're still trying to figure it out, but um, I think hopefully it'll start. You can start. hear our voice. <laughs> you can hear our voice, hopefully. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. And as always, this is Michael. This is Kyle. And this has been a critique on the universe of trailers. Where'd you guys go? Dude, it's so dark in here. <laughs> Later. <laughs>